Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Eternal Flames. This is Blaze speaking. So, I figured we'd go over some more stuff since our Terraformer Craft series is starting to actually pick up. And today we're going to be going over bloomeries. Now, first things first, I wanted to talk about first how to build it, and this is the most minimalistic way, and what you can build it out of. Starting off, if it's made of stone, you can build it out of it. Just be careful of cobblestone because cobblestone will, as per normal, fall. You generally want brick, raw stone, or smooth stone. I would recommend brick because you can get away with a little bit more of that. But, eh, each to their own preference, right? Okay, starting off, just like with any forge or anything like that, you need a center brick to kind of hold your contents. But this time you want to build at least one out. Now this is your first layer and you're going to have to build it at least like this. Okay, for your second layer, what you want to do is you want to kind of build a casing around. If you notice, you do not need a brick underneath or stone or whatever you're using. However, you do want to make sure that this is an enclosed space with two hollow parts above your original bricks or stones. In this case, we built again, but this time if you notice, we kind of put one above this other piece right here and we've left the center hollow while making sure that we can still encase you know the outside this is going to become important seeing as you're going to have to hold contents in here think of something from a different mod pack where you actually have to fill it with something right anyways finally you're going to need the bloomery itself and this right here is actually made with eight double sheets of bronze so Let's see if we can just grab it. You can use regular bronze. You can, let's actually just type in bronze. There we go. So, let's see, you can use double sheet of regular bronze, black bronze, or uh, I can never say this, bismuth bronze. Any of these three will work. You can also use, I believe, um, rose gold. However, rose gold is a little bit more valuable, and I don't quite recommend using that. But anything with bronze in the name can be used to make it, and it's eight in a circle. Let's see if I can get a crafting bench here for you real quick. Just remember, in Terraformer Craft, you normally don't need a crafting table, but eh. So it would be one of these all the way around, kind of like this. Okay? Anyways. Once you have your bloomery in place right you're then going to have want to kind of build it up a bit now granted that like I said before this is the most minimalistic if you notice this is about three high as a total build but your hole in the center is about too deep now this will yield some of what you're after but it's not going to be the best okay generally you want to fill it as much as possible now once you've got your structure how do you get this thing started? How do you start processing your iron? Well, that's easy. First thing you need is you need to grab some charcoal. Let's go ahead and just grab some right now. Fill this up. Okay. Close this. And now we need to go behind it and climb on up. Now, once you're up on top, and this is important, try not to fall in. You fall in, you're kind of SOL unless you got a pickaxe. Or unless you cheat, in which case I'm sorry. Take your iron. In this case, we got limonite, which is pretty good iron. You can also use magnetite, or there's different variations of iron throughout the world. Anyways, let's toss this in. And charcoal. Now you'll notice there's now a texture in here, and it sucked up pretty much most of our stuff. I'm going to go ahead and do this, but essentially you don't want to overdo it, but let's, uh, let's see how much we could toss in here. And let's just toss more of this and more charcoal. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if we can toss even more in. Let's just keep tossing it in until it can't take no more, huh? 
There we go. So once you've got as much iron and charcoal in as you can, which apparently is this much, um, what you want to do is collect what's left over, and then comes the next step. Come over here with the fire starter, right click. You can also use the flint and steel if somehow or another you've managed to get a piece of wrought iron and flint. Okay, well while that's processing, right, you guys probably have noticed that right next to this one I've built a second one with using this middle wall as kind of a bridge between them. Inside we've actually got an iron bloom. If I switch over to game mode, or <laughs> before I do that, pick, there we go. Let's just grab red steel for now. If I switch over my game mode and try not to die, wow, <laughs> that was stupid of me. Okay, so let's, uh, once again, let's try not to die. Get my munch on here. There we go. That way I don't die a horrible death. We can now collect this using a pickaxe. And boom. Sometimes it's going to be a bit hard to get in there. Don't be afraid to kind of bust open your thing. Pop it back in place. Pop this back in place. Once you have that, what you want to do is light up your forge. And if you notice, I've already got raw iron bloom in there. This one's about 600, which is the max amount you can have, I believe. This one's only 400. But all the same, same idea. Light this bad boy up and go from there. Once you have it lit up, however, what you're wanna gonna do is take it over here once it reaches about yellow or so and look in plans and you'll notice it says refine. Once you've refined it, it'll turn into a refined iron bloom and then you can split it. When you split the bloom, it's going to turn into smaller chunks. In this case, if we go back into creative, right? Let's just type in bloom you're going to actually get refined 100% iron blooms for every one you have. So if it's 600%, it's going to break into six different 100s. A couple of you are suddenly going, well, what if I have 420%? You'll get four 100% and one 20%. Hold on to that extra 20% bloom because later down the line, you can melt that in a crucible, which is actually pretty handy. But for the time being, if you take your new refined iron bloom and put it in here, you'll notice there are plans for an ingot. This will give you your first piece of wrought iron, and congratulations, you have officially made your first iron ingot. Good luck from here on out, survivors, and I hope to see you in the near future. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, a like, subscribe. Maybe some comments. Let me know how you like the tutorial or maybe let me know if I'm doing a bad job and if I need to reform, reformat how I do things. But this, is, uh, this has been Blaze. Um, take care. Stay safe. Stay well. And just remember, you too can make iron. Just gotta know how. Later, everybody. Piggy. Beautiful piggy.